Hi, this is Nikki Vo on the Riviera 64 Sports Motor Yacht in Sydney Harbour. We're doing a test run today for Ocean Magazine and having a wonderful time. Um, I have to tell you, it's a very nice ride. The gyro is definitely helping with the swell, of course, but she is a beautiful soft form and a beautiful ride, and everything is as easy as possible to drive this baby. So we've got um, joystick controls so that we can really um, get a nice easy berth in but also we've got sync on our engines and uh, we've also got everything push button and very easily available to us here on the hill. She is an absolute stunner, really enjoying this ride. Effortless is a word that's used a lot about being at the helm of a boat, but this truly is effortless. It is a beautiful layout, everything is at your fingertips, and the ride and the feel of driving the 64 is just magnificent. Uh, the steering is, is light and responsive, the, the pickup on the throttle, there's the power there when you need it, but it doesn't feel raw and tough, it's really smooth laying on the power, and this boat just sits so well in the water. It is a masterpiece by Riviera. John, you're a Riviera owner and you've had a couple of boats. What do you love about the brand? What keeps you coming back? I think there's a couple of issues there. I think that you've got to go back to when I got the first boat and that was all about, um, I look for the sort of vessel that would suit, a company that would be around and it really impressed me that, that what Riv was doing. But the fact it was an Australian company and you were able to build a boat on shore rather than bringing it in from overseas to me was very significant. Had the first boat, and I learned a lot from that. And then it became the other part of the equation, which was when I configured my 5400 sports yacht, uh, there was nothing that I wanted to do in the way of changes that Riv wouldn't undertake. Uh, absolutely everything I asked them to do. There wasn't anything that became too hard. And I made a lot of changes, and uh, they were very accommodating. And I got the vessel I wanted. So. And then tell us about your experience with the boat now, now that you're, you've been out using it, obviously, for a long time now. Yeah. Uh, how do you enjoy it? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, we're blessed with fantastic waterway here. We've been, you know, north in it as well and south. Uh, we've had overnight stays on it, and we love taking our grandkids out on it. And that was one of the, some of the couple of the things that we wanted Riv to do was to childproof the boat, and and we had some discussions with them, and, and it happened that way because these kids are very young, and we, you know, we wanted to be able to be able to let them move around the back of the boat without any risk of them getting away. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's the waterway, it's the family connection time, uh, and you know, there's something healthy about being out on the water. Uh, you've now been at the helm of this, the 64, you've had yeah. a good look around, what do you think? I think it's a brilliant boat. I mean, it, it is extremely stable in how it travels. Uh, taking it up onto a plane, it went up very, very easily. There was no stumbling or fighting or anything like that, or any hump you had to get over, it just rolled up onto a plane very nicely. And the other thing for engines this size was the, how quiet they are, you know. I mean, the boat's obviously been soundproof very well. Yeah, so. a, good, a great family boat. Oh, indeed, yeah, yeah, nice configuration. Love it. Thanks, mate. Cheers. I'd like to ask you a few questions about this new Riv 64. Um, you've spoken about her in the brochure as a passage maker. Can mm -hmm. you um, give me your reasoning behind that? If yeah, you like? sure. We have a, a fantastic design point with this boat where from zero to ten knots, we've designed this boat so it can be like a displacement boat so you are able to travel for long distances up and down the east coast of Australia, around Tasmania and back to Sydney or even head over to New Zealand. So we have the ability of heading out the Sydney Harbour today and heading south and we can make our way over to New Zealand, Lord Howe our Island. Um, it has fantastic range, it's, it's incredibly um, good on fuel from zero up to ten knots. And if there was a storm front coming through, you also have the ability with this boat to bump up the throttles a little bit more and bring it up to 20, 22 knots, 24 knots if you need to get stay in front of that storm front or head back in a different direction to get around wherever that, that bad weather might be coming. But if you've got great weather, you can just sit it on 10 knots, 
head to any destination that you want and be comfortable and relaxed. Some other features I really, really enjoyed. Um, you've got a, a dedicated linen cupboard in here and you've got, um, uh, you've also got a full height fridge, which I, um, you know, I, the drawer fridges are great, but I'm a big fan of the full height fridge, so I'm oh, glad to see that in here. fantastic how you notice all of that, Nikki, yeah. uh, and, it, and it is, it is a full height fridge with freezer drawers. Um, the galley, you'd have to agree, the galley is, is very, very well appointed, very comfortable, very easy. You could cook or prepare any meal that you possibly would like to. Um, if you're entertaining, there's the right um, right area for you know a chef to be on board while you're entertaining guests, or if you choose to cook a, a beautiful gourmet meal yourself, if you're capable, I wouldn't be, but um, <laughs> it'd be pretty basic for me. But however, if, uh, if you're a gourmet chef, you could certainly uh, cook up a storm in there, that's for sure. This is a boat that Riviera can be very proud of, and we can be proud of it as an Australian product as well. It is just so beautifully finished and so smart in its design, so many clever ideas. Everywhere you, you look around, there's something else that just makes you go, wow. And you can just see it find a home with people who want to go that bit further, who want to get offshore and, and get away for a few days. Uh, this is the boat for you. It is big, it's solid, it's safe. It's, you know, this is a space where you do bring your family for the day or your friends out for a special event. And whether you're cruising miles offshore or whether you're tied up in the harbour and you're having a, a Chardonnay as the sun sets, it's just a beautiful boat to be on. You, you'll feel as you walk onto this that you are in somewhere special and when you walk off, you'll, I'm guaranteed you'll just have a big smile on your face. Well, we've had a wonderful time getting to know the Riviera 64 Sports Motor Yacht and Nikki, head off to Riviera. They've done a beautiful job with this. They certainly have. It's a beautiful combination of a really good sports fishing boat, but also combining that plushness to make it a luxury cruiser. It's fantastic. And from the owner's point of view, it, it, it's easy, isn't it? There's a lot of effortless um, time you can have on this boat because it is such a comfortable place to be on, but also to be in control of. Uh, we both drove it, the steering is light, you know, for a boat that size, it's very easy to drive and as you found out, that throttle is so responsive, 30 knots like that. <laughs> I know, I got up to 34 knots a little bit too easily on that boat. Um, she's, uh, she's super easy to drive, uh, but like you say, really gentle, really responsive um, and the controls are all right in front of you, really easy to use, it's literally touch button. Yep, an absolute world class boat, well done Riviera.